Is your Mac running slow? 10 simple tips to speed it up. It's well known that all computers, including Macs, slow down over time. This drop in performance can be frustrating, and it's easy to think that you need to splash out on extra RAM, or even buy a new machine, sooner than you'd like. But there are a number of easy tweaks that can boost your computer's performance and speed up that slow Mac. And they won't cost you a penny. We've previously covered some causes of a slow Mac when we looked at common mistakes that slow down your Mac. Is your Mac running slow? By changing some of your computing habits, you could improve its performance. These seven big mistakes can slow down your Mac. It covers quick fixes like closing demanding programs and clearing your caches which bring immediate performance improvements in your Mac. But if your computer still isn't performing as you'd like, continue with the tips below. Many people still believe the myth that operating system upgrades always slow down your machine. And while they can sometimes have performance issues on really old computers, these updates usually do more good than harm. They include bug fixes, patches, and improvements that often increase the speed of your Mac. These OS update files can be pretty large, though. So if you're running low on hard drive space, you'll likely want to free that up first. See step 2. Below, to update your OS, make sure your laptop is connected to a power outlet, and back up your Mac first in case anything goes wrong. Click the Apple menu in the top left corner of your screen and go to About This Mac Greater Than Software Updates. If a software upgrade is available, you will see an Upgrade Now button. Click that and the download will start. After a while, your computer will restart itself, and you'll walk through the installation process. This update process will update not just the operating system, but also many of the default apps from Apple. As your storage drive reaches its capacity, performance drops off rapidly. Large files have been shown to have more of a negative effect on your max speed than small files. It's thus always wise to keep at least 25% of your disk space free if possible. To check how much free space you have on your hard drive, Go to Apple menu greater than about this Mac greater than storage. If you're running low on space, as shown in the image above, it's worth going through our guide on how to free up space on your Mac. That takes you through how to do each of the following step by step. In addition, we'd also recommend moving your photos and music libraries over to an external hard drive, as they can take up a huge amount of space. Make at least two copies, or back up with a cloud provider, in case one of your drives fails. You should minimize the number of background processes that load each time you restart. To do this, having a bunch of widgets running in the background can also have an impact on your max speed. To remove some of these, if Spotlight has stopped returning the results you'd expect, or is running particularly slow, rebuilding the Spotlight Index should help. Follow these steps to do so. This will force Spotlight to re-index that drive or folder, which should make searching run more smoothly. This can take some time. So be patient if Spotlight seems finicky at first. The barely noticed visual effects of macOS can impact your computer performance more than you think. To disable these, if you're attempting to sync large folders to the cloud using services such as iCloud, Google Drive, or Dropbox, this will likely slow everything down. Be sure to routinely review which files and folders are uploading to the cloud to ensure you're not sending too much at once. You can review and adjust which data backs up to iCloud by going to System Preferences greater than Apple ID greater than iCloud. To manage which folders sync with other cloud storage providers, you will generally need to go to the Preferences panel of the specific app that you use, like Dropbox or Google Drive. Try to avoid syncing folders that change frequently. Each time you open Finder, it needs to load the folder set as its default. If this is a large folder, that can take more time than you'd like, such as if you have tons of items on your desktop. Instead, you should change this to a smaller, less demanding folder so that Finder can load faster. Since so much of most people's computer work these days is done within a browser, it can be easy to mistake a slow browser for a slow Mac. The easiest fix here is to remove unneeded and bulky add-ons, extensions from whichever browser you use. If you regularly check out cool extensions, 
then it is probably time to clean up those add-ons that you no longer want, like, or need. Here's how to do it easily. Outdated apps that haven't been optimized for the latest macOS update can cause your Mac to feel slower than it really is. It's therefore always worthwhile to keep the software on your computer up to date. To do this, go to App Store Greater Than Updates. If any app updates are available, you will see them listed. Either click to update each app individually, or choose Update All in the top right corner to install all available updates at once. With these simple tips, you should see a noticeable improvement in your Mac speed. However, if your machine still isn't working at a speed that's acceptable, there are a couple more extreme or expensive options. If your computer is really old, you may be best off buying a refurbished Mac to save some cash. For a less expensive option, if your model is old enough, you might be able to upgrade the RAM in your Mac. Need to restore your Mac to factory settings. Here's how to install a fresh copy of macOS and erase everything. Without or without erasing your storage disk entirely, doing so essentially restores your Mac to its factory settings. Hopefully it won't come to this, though, and these tips will get you plenty more use out of your Mac. Text source, makeuseof.com.